five, four, three, two, one. Hey, hippies. Thanks, Winston. Like they say in the island, shaka, brah. When I started my doctoral studies in education in the mid-80s, I encountered, as you might expect, a whole lot of statistical information. One datum in particular struck me and stuck, and that is 65% of the variance in student scores on standardized achievement tests is accounted for by, statistically, one and only one variable, and that variable is the socioeconomic status of the family. That is to say, for most kids, Success in school is more directly predicted and more directly correlated with their zip code than with their IQ scores. I don't think things have changed enough in the interim, especially since the testing industry has so successfully colonized the classroom. And that's a precursor, I'm pretty sure, to the eventual 15 years or so privatization of all, of all schooling. Almost 40 years ago now, Jonathan Kozel wrote that those who proclaim the American schools to be failures do not understand the purpose for schooling. Schools, Kozel said, are ferociously good at what they're designed to do, which is, and I'm paraphrasing here, ensuring as far as possible that as few children as possible escape the socioeconomic niches into which they were born. Another scholar of the period, Joel Spring, regards schools as sorting machines which separate students into lifelong and nearly inviolable tracks according to the students potential usefulness to the elites. Now from such a perspective it's not a stretch to suggest that the purpose of schooling actually is to compile like a retroactive record of each student's participation in the institution for the purpose at least in no small part of rationalizing and supporting decisions that were made about those students long before their tiny feet ever crossed the threshold of the schoolroom for the first time. On that happy note, back to you and Hippie Central, Winston.